Hi, Paul Hefty here with 492W. Last lecture, big finish. So we just want to talk about how to finish strong, go through the evaluation process, and then uh, wish you good luck and thanks for a great term. Let's take a look. All right, let's take a look back where we started. If you remember at the beginning of the course, I mentioned I was going to do things a little differently using what's called this experiential education model. And again, the idea is we're going to engage you as learners through a direct experience. And what that was, was to actually design your own business. Hopefully that helped increase your knowledge of the health industry and not just the one area that you're interested in, but by doing the peer reviews and uh, sharing information with all your peers, we were able to develop some skills with everything in the health industry. Again, the goal of the course was then to learn through doing and designing your business. And hopefully it was a fun way to make you knowledgeable of everything that's needed from a business standpoint in the health industry. Second, hopefully something stuck with you using the Made to Stick textbooks by the Heath brothers. I really, be uh, really believe the success model is a great a tool to be used in any career path you're using or even in your personal life. So again, remember, keep things simple. Take something complex and be able to communicate that in a simple way. Present information in an unexpected way to grab people's attention. Use your quality research to make things concrete and then credible. And then last, what inspires you Use that emotional connection through the use of stories to connect that to other people. And then last S there is sell it. And that's hopefully what you've done and will continue to do as you go forward. Also want you to finish with honor and integrity. What I mean by that is I've asked you to do a lot and there's a temptation with this final project being so labor intense um, to plagiarize and or copy from previous projects out there. Please don't step into that temptation. If I find there's plagiarism, I have to report you. It's the ethics principles that I have as a professor. So real simple, use the proper in-text citations and reference listings of the APA format, and then make sure you use all of the previous projects and discussions and peer reviews you've worked on throughout the year. That was the idea of the course. It's called scaffolding, where you can just build upon previous projects to the final project. I only ask if you use some of your peers that you don't cite that as a personal communication in the project, but actually cite the research that they uh, got the information from and then reference list it at the end. A couple expectations. Um, the CEQ, hopefully you finish that on Canvas. Um, just hold yourself accountable there. If you did do it, um, then you get four easy points. If you didn't, just be honest. Um, it's a new process, not able to do it here the last week. Project six must be submitted on Canvas for me to give, a, give you a grade. So check your email. If there's a problem with that not uploading, um, I'll email you so that I can get a new version and so forth, but I've got to have that check through, turn it in before I can actually give you a grade. And then last, um, again, extensions are good till Tuesday, but that's the last Tuesday of finals week is the last time I can take any final uh, plan, business plan submissions. And then I have 48 hours to submit the grades to registrar. So again, check your email so we can get that done and meet that deadline and wrap things up. Just a couple points on project six, the final business plan with the assessment process. So there's clarity. Again, I'll post the grade right away as, as I get those in and put again feedback on your individual summary at the end as I've done with all the projects. If you have questions about your score and or you see I made a mistake, please email me right away. I'll be checking that and we can set up a Zoom meeting to go through that. Only thing I ask you to do is to review your business contract first that we did at midterms and then review all the expectations that are on the final weeks of Canvas. Usually that answers some questions before we have to get to a meeting. If you need to, again, here's my email. 
And again, we can set up an appointment for a Zoom meeting if there's questions or concerns. Last all, though, I'd like to thank everyone again. You've done a great job. And I'd ask a lot of you with the writing intense course and with regular projects um, and assessments due weekly, you've done a nice job. And uh, I, I hope something sticks with you in this as you go into your future careers and hopefully become uh, business owners in the future as well. So congrats. If you're graduating here at mid-year, great. If you're graduating at end of the year, also congratulations. I'm around up here in REC. Stop by. Um, again, aim high. Consider yourself capable of great things because you've deserved it with all the hard work. Thanks.